On the morning of July the sixteenth, nineteen sixty-nine, the three astronauts are woken, fed a light breakfast, put on their special pressure suits, and are driven to their waiting launch vehicle. <laughs> The crew of Apollo 11 are now leaving the confines of Earth's gravity. They are traveling faster than any man has ever traveled before—25,000 miles per hour. They received the go signal from the control center in Houston. Armstrong and Aldrin have 12 minutes to get Eagle down. 100 feet, three and a half down, nine forward, five percent. More warning lights. Eagle now has five percent fuel left. Only sixty seconds remain. The countdown begins. One single sweep of a second hand spells success or failure. Forty feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. Thirty feet, two and a half down. Straight shadow. Four forward. Four forward. Drift into the right a little. Thirty. Down a half. Thirty seconds. Forward. Just. Back right. Okay. Engine stop. Neil Armstrong, a thirty-eight-year-old American, backs down the ladder, and says his now immortal words. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Here we are, 30,000 light years, 176 billion, 340,000 million miles from the center of our galaxy, revolving around an average star called the Sun. This galaxy is only one of billions. Yet. In all this vastness, this is the only place I know of where I can breathe.